it reveals the secrets of the past, the present, and what may come to be. Most would think me fortunate to own such a book, but I can only use it in service to others. That is my curse. It wakes, tormenting me once more, feeding on the mysteries of this world, unraveling them into opportunity. That opportunity for whom? Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. Welcome to a let's play of Total War Warhammer 3. Now, we have done Total War Let's Plays on this channel since 2014. Imagine that. Good times, good times. So I thought to continue this fine tradition of um, perhaps not a full series of this game because time is of the essence and I have some uh, other videos planned, but I thought at least to show the game and uh, of course show you the nice introduction you saw there uh, and the nice introduction you will see now. So um, yeah, Warhammer Total War 2, uh, absolutely great game. I uh, really enjoyed playing it and uh, yeah, I've made some let's plays uh, of it as well of course, which uh, you might have seen. Now anyway, we will get straight into it with uh, a new campaign. This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic churned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here? In the north. Beyond the maelstrom, in the realm of death, in the forge of souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, in prison, in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. <laughs> oh. I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Ursan's blood would break my curse. Ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos. And I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All routes have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, 
The tome unveils a spell to summon a portal, one to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally, one who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. Absolutely epic is what that trailer was. Something I always appreciate with this um, Total War games, the cinematics. So, of course, we need to save the bear god from the vicious forces of chaos. All too easy to be corrupted by chaos, which is what you see in this modern world of ours. So we have a few different civilizations here. We have Kislev, which is based on good old Russia. Then we have Grand Katai, which is based on good old China. And we have a few different chaos gods. So Korn is the blood god, stands for sheer aggression and violence. Then Slanesh, which if you have been with me for a long time, you have heard me say that the the, uh, the forces of Slanesh, so that's basically the god of excess and uh, degeneracy. Um, the Nurgle, of course, I mentioned before as well, the god of uh, sickness and disease. So when I say that I've been struck down by Nurgle, that's what I mean, that I have been, um, that I've gotten sick. He hasn't struck down, he hasn't struck me down in a good while now, because I bear the blessing of Apollo and because I garlic max and I take my zinc and vitamin D. So that's how you can withstand the uh, attentions of uh, Nurgle to optimize your immune system. Then we have Tsinch, which is sort of like a, an evil god of knowledge, a trickster god, a, a god of scheming. Now, of course, we won't be playing any of this because we need to fight the um, the demons of chaos, both in Warhammer games and in um, in our own world. Now, of course, the demon that is perhaps most powerful in our age is uh, Slanesh. So we can think of things such as OnlyFans and pornography. So that's the uh, the influence of Slanesh. Uh, anyway. We have ogre kingdoms, so they are ogres that roam in uh, great migrations and mog others by um, yeah, rampaging through the lands. Then we have demons of chaos, is another faction which is, they are demons that aren't committed to any of these four main gods. So this could be interesting as well of course. But I think the only reasonable course of action is to go with Kislev here. So we're gonna choose these guys. So we have a Tsarina, Tsarina Katarin. So the name is most likely based on the um, Empress Katarina of uh, Russia. And uh, you can see here some faction effects, some lord effects. So um, yeah, we don't need to read through all of this. I'm sure she is a great character to uh, play with. We also have this. Constantine the Redeemer, the Great Orthodoxy. I think all of my Orthodox Christian friends want me to um, choose this guy. So as Supreme Patriarch of the Ursonite Faith, Constantine is one of the most powerful spiritual leaders in Kislev. Wild and unkempt in appearance, he is a howling, angry firebrand on the battlefield, urging his devoted followers onwards to fight and die in the name of the Great Bear. Sounds absolutely based. I think we will actually go with this particular guy. So he has minus 40 in diplomatic relations with the Ice Court, but otherwise devotion generated 10 from successful Patriarch hero actions. Sounds absolutely like something many of you would appreciate so um, we will go with this guy and of course campaign going with legendary it's the only way to play if you're a true connoisseur of total war games that's what i play in um, total war warhammer 2 at least to get a good challenge then we'll go with hard with the battles i don't think the battles themselves are the 
nicest thing with the game, but the um, civilizational development and trade and uh, that sort of thing. So anyway, let's get into the campaign. So you can see this fine artwork as well, inspired by both Russian and uh, Polish hussars. So you see the cavalry there with the wings behind Polish hussars. At the icy grave of Kislev's most glorious leader, I found the one I seek. Kostatin of Kislev, there is no price he would not pay to save Urson. And with the death of Tsar Boris Boker, he alone has belief enough to perform this miracle. It is a mercy that you cannot witness Kislev's desolation. Your son has been taken from us. I see it in visions. He bleeds, trapped and alone. Yet instead of worship, the Tsarina dallies with frost magic and courtly intrigue. Forgive me, my Tsar, but your daughter fails you. Doom comes for Kislev. The shade who follows me shows himself. I know where Urson dies, and I can take you to him. Lies will not save you, disciple of the Dark Gods. Listen to me. My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop, just one, of Urson's divine blood. Heresy. Sin unbound! It will free me of a chaos sent curse. It will make me pure. And your faith, your faith will save your god. Bring your book. The motherland endures, whatever the cost. Our goal is to rescue Urson. The god bear of Kislev from the clutches of Belakor. After fraught bargaining, my price is agreed, and I will do all I can to guide the Kislevites to their lost god. Mere moments are left to prove your profane book will aid my work and save Ursan, heretic! Yes! Your Grace. If you are to rescue Urson, you must do so from a place of strength. We do not have time to persuade, so must chastise those hostile to us. Wipe out the Ungol kindreds and seed their settlements with followers who share the ideals of the great orthodoxy. Further to the east, an even more despicable threat lurks. The vile rat men of Hell Pit. If we are to welcome Urson back to the Motherland, such abominations must be purged. But not all are enemies this far north. Allies can be found in the proud city of Prague. They have had their fill of heretics and deviants, so we'll welcome your sermons and scrutiny by the Orthodoxy. Further south, however, is the Witch's Nest. She claims the capital and defiles the once great palace of her revered father. These towns fall under the Ice Queen's influence, but can be won over or trodden underfoot if they refuse to see the truth. And in the southwest lie the lands of the Empire, weaklings who have taken Kislev's protection for granted. Perhaps it is time to punish the ungrateful, or see if they are willing to be converted. So, you see, Your Grace, we have many heretics to slay. But be ready, for when the time is right, we shall fight our way into the Chaos Realm itself. Heathens that stray from the teachings of the great orthodoxy surround us. Punish such unbelievers with fire and fury. All 
All right, we are in the game after yet another epic cinematic, and uh, I am Constantin. And we need to purge these heretics from the realm. So, just having a look here at the um, overall graphics and feel of the game, uh, really nice, I must say. I um, really like it. So we have the empire here, and uh, some wood elves, the witch's wood we have here. Uh, so just having a look here, looks good, looks nice. We have a griffon there. We have Erengrad Very well. with uh, other Kislevites, I suppose. And then we have Norden here. Nice name for a for a city. Um, and uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And then we have what is uh, Scandinavia, I suppose, up here. So some uh, Chaos Marauders. Anyway, since this is... I am truth. No higher power than I. We need to illuminate these heretics. Battle is upon us. Study your... Yeah. So, had it been a bit more even, the odds I would have... ...played it out. Uh, manually, but now since we outnumber them quite a bit, I will just auto resolve here. And, and then we have is yours, my a few different options. We can pardon captives or we can. Saliak provides. Uh, we can reinvigorate our, um, our forces here. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. Uh, we have gotten a, a some sort of hero here. We can um, uh, embed embed in our army, and then I suppose we can go on to conquer these settlements here in Troll Country. Your victory will bolster the hearts of believers across Kislev. Followers of the Ursunite cult shall flock to the church's cause if you summon them. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we have a, a shrine of Ursen. Quite aesthetic. Quite aesthetic indeed. Now, anyway, I just wanted to show you this fine game. Uh, and, um, yeah, as I said, looks good. Looks good. I will probably take a little moment um, in the coming time to... Uh, to play a bit, but yeah, as I said, I have quite a few other videos I um, I want to make, so this will be it for this fine game. Maybe later on uh, I will show you some more of it. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I wish you all a great day ahead. XOXO, boom!